we've completed round four. We've created all those elongated stitches. Now we're going to begin row five, or round five. I did the first stitch, just so you can see what we're going to be creating. This is the um, peacock stitch, as I call it. We're going to be taking five loops at a time, five elongated stitches from our previous round, and we're going to be doing a knit purl, knit purl, knit. Five stitches into these five loops before we drop it from the left needle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we do that. We're going to find our five loops, insert our needle through all five. This would be very similar to a knit two together or knit three together. Yarn over our needle as if to knit, pull our knit stitch through, but do not drop the stitch from the needle. Now yarn to the front, do a purl stitch, do not drop, yarn to the back, another knit stitch, do not drop, yarn to the front, do a purl stitch, do not drop, yarn to the back, and we'll do our final and fifth stitch, which is another knit stitch. Now, once we've made certain that we have all five stitches on our right hand needle, we can drop that last knit stitch off. And as you can see, we made that little peacock stitch. And that's all there is to it. You just continue in this fashion, doing five at a time. Make certain that you do have five loops and not um, a different number. You'll find that you have uh, either too many loops or not enough loops left in your round. But this will give you 38 uh, peacock stitches when you're done with the round.